Good evening, everybody out there. Tonight we're going to talk about speed test. You've heard in my videos and some other YouTubers' videos where we talk about speed test. I'm actually going to show you how to create your speed test server, how to run it. We'll talk about some of the apps. Before we get into that, if you want to see some really interesting stuff, do a Google search for Wisp Pavalooza. Wisp Palooza 2016. It's a big um, industry event put on out in Las Vegas. I think they're at the Rio this year by WISPA, which is the Wireless ISP Association. You can see all the vendors' products, all the new stuff that's out there, and there's some pretty interesting stuff, so check that out. Uh, the next thing, next week, we're going to be doing some videos on this gear by RF Elements. I'm just going to show you a little bit about what this is right now. This is the twist port adapter that we've got, and uh, my uh, Rocket AC will slide in here, and then there's the twist port, and then it goes inside of this guy, which is the symmetrical horn, and I believe that this is the 40 degree horn. So you can see this, and uh, I'm actually going to do some really um, in-depth videos about this. We're going to mount this outside. You're going to see how this works. So keep your eyes peeled for that. That is coming. These symmetrical horns, there's huge advantage to these. You can basically stack these guys on a tower um, without the, the minimum uh, footage that's recommended by um, some of the other antennas um, because of the way that this transforms uh, the beam or the signal coming out of the radio. These things are, are pretty amazing. So I'd like to thank RF Elements. And we will get to that next week. Uh, it will probably be an entirely new kind of video that you haven't seen yet and I'll want to really get your feedback on that. We're going to kick the production level up a notch with this one. And we're going to do that too for all the new Ubiquity stuff that's coming. I'm going to try to, to upgrade it a little bit for you guys. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, I do have a favor to ask of all of you. Um, as, as you're watching this video, we're probably sliding into that, that uh, 3,000 subscriber mark. So I want to thank everybody out there. Uh, keep putting your comments about what you want to see me do with these dead access points. I want to reiterate that these are uh, bricks. They are no good. I cannot salvage them. They do not. Uh, they do not power on. So um, we've. I think the most votes we've got so far is to throw them up in the air and shoot them uh, with a shotgun, like a sporting clay. And I'm. I'm not against that. I'm not against strapping. Uh, I think somebody said let's put uh, model rocket motors on these and fly them. Somebody said melt them. Um, you know, we, well, you know, whatever gets the most votes. The other favor that I'd like to ask is I do get some, um, some thumbs down, uh, votes on the videos. And if you're giving me a thumbs down, if you, if you could tell me in the video why that happened, you know, if, if it's my production quality, if it's the way I'm explaining things, um, you just don't like my voice, my hair, whatever, uh, let me know so that, you know, I can kind of work on that. Um, I want to get as many thumbs up as possible because I think a lot of the information I'm getting out there is useful. But once again, please feel free to communicate me, uh, communicate with me, whether it's positive or negative, because I do uh, want that feedback. So um, here we go. We're going to hop into the speed test video. And if you log into your edge router, up in the, the toolbox, you have this bandwidth. And we, we covered this, I think I covered this in a video, maybe it have been before I started using the mic in the video. I'll, I'll have to check that out. But what, what this does is you can be the sender or the receiver. And if you're the receiver, that means that you're running a speed test to this device. Um, if you're the sender, you're running a speed test to another device. And this is actually using iPerf3. We are going to be using iPerf3. That's I-P-E-R-F-3. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fire up our SSH into our Linux box. And 
and we are going to install iperf3. And the command to do that in Ubuntu, and likely the same in Debian, is sudo apt-get install iperf3. You can see it selected the packages and anything that with, went with it. And now iperf is installed. There's a couple things you can do now. At this point on your server, you can keep this as a manual process, or you could set it up to run as a daemon. So first we're going to do this manually. And uh, one thing that I want to verify real okay. Now you notice that I use Linux a lot. I, I love Linux. It's done great things for me for my, throughout my career. It's going to continue to do great things. A lot of the equipment that we run is all Linux. And uh, so I'm not giving up on that anytime soon. But for people who like Windows, I do believe if we go to the iperf site that there is an iperf um, server for Windows. So you could download that run it on Windows. I'm not going to do that because I'm running it on Linux, but feel free to go out in the official site is iperf.fr. Under the download section, you can grab uh, the Windows binaries. So I just didn't want to leave the Windows users out there. Is there anything for Mac? Yeah, there is. There's also for Apple Mac OS. So if you've got that, uh, there's also Android, iPhone, iPad apps. Then you see Ubuntu, Debian, and Mint, which, by the way, Ubuntu and Mint um, are ultimately based off uh, Debian. And I could be wrong about this, but it used to be that Mint was based off of Ubuntu and Ubuntu is based off of Debian. But I see here Mint is standalone, so maybe Mint now is just forked off of, of Debian. I don't know. It's been a while since I used it. I either use Debian or uh, Ubuntu or Open is it OpenSUSE or OpenSUSE? I don't know. Anyway, SQL SQL. You know how this goes. By the way, I pronounce it SQL. Structured query, structured query language. That's a different conversation. How do you pronounce SQL though? SQL used to be an actual product. So let's talk about all this kind of technical stuff. How do you pronounce it? I pronounce it SQL. Um, but I know SQL developers that pronounce it SQL, even though SQL was a product and SQL is structure, structured query language. The debate goes either way, and there's people on both sides of that. So anyway, back to the task at hand. We are going to uh, bring our, our SSH back up, and if we type in iperf3, and we... Um, hit enter, it's going to show us our, our options. So by default, this guy is going to run on port 5201, uh, and I don't know that there's any reason to change it. Unless, of course, you have another service that runs on 5201. I can't think of any off the top of my head, but by all means, that doesn't mean that they don't exist. So when we're looking through the options, the first thing um, that we're looking for is server. How do we run this as a server? So we're going to type in iperf3 space hyphen s and now the server is running in kind of an interactive mode and I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that we're gonna hop back over to the router the receiver IP that's the server we just set up so it's gonna be 192.168.66.10 and um, real quick I am going to bring up paint this is not Visio. It's not that. It's not that fancy, but I want to just draw you a real quick um, kind of um, diagram of what's what's going on here. So uh, we've got our brush. We'll choose this size. Black is fine. So what we've got is we've got my server and. It goes over to a Unify switch. This is the 8. Unify switch 8. I should have been a doctor. Look at that handwriting. Uh, this is a 1 gigabit link between the server and the switch. And then we come to the workstation that I am recording this on. And this is also a 1 gig link. So that's, that's what we're dealing with here. And so literally we're going, um, this is going to be 
you know, the, the flow. We're not, I mean, we're going right, you know, right between these two, these two boxes. If you like my, my artwork, let me know in the comments. I'm looking for a lot of feedback from you guys. So we've put 192.168.66.10. And we're going to go ahead and run the test. All right, you're going to see the, the bars here kick up. And you're going to notice this in the background kick up. All right, now we're going to open up the... SSH. So work segment, which isn't isolated in the lab, like when I do testing on access points and things like that, we could see some some different results. And you can definitely see that we had a lot of, of different results. Over 10 seconds, it was uh, 515 megabytes with uh, bandwidth of 432 megabits per second. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy back in server mode. And I have an Android phone because when we got new phones last year, my wife, I felt that she uh, deserved the nicer phone. So she got the iPhone uh, 6s plus it was kind of a, a present to her she got the big morphe case uh, charging case and i got the penny phone the penny phone is android it is not iphone i do know that iperf apps exist for the iphone and we looked it up and i think the one is like 399 um but what we can do with with the uh, Android is under the Google Play Store there is a free one and I grabbed it and it's just called Magic iPerf. I don't know if you can see that. And you can see I've already got some commands in there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell this to run. And you're going to see iPerf kick on. So now how this is actually being transmitted is uh, through an access point that is a floor above me on the other side of metal ductwork and uh, all kinds of different walls and obstructions in the way. So you can see on the screen, you can see pretty much the same results that we've got here. So I'm getting 25.1 megabits there at the end, and it looks like we had uh, 18. Point 18.5 megabits that is to a Unify um, APAC light that is way on the other side of the house upstairs. Um, I believe you can also on the phone turn this in into a server. I haven't got that far with it yet, but uh, messing with the options, that's what it looks like. So anytime you want to run your own speed test internally, you can do that. Now I've not turned this into a, a daemon yet and so let's do that uh, let's do that live with with you here with me. So we'll type in iperf3 s for server dash d and we got a, our uh, shell prompt back again so just out of curiosity let's pull up the old edge router and let's run this test and see if it runs. There it is. So it is now running as a daemon in the background. And we don't get that kind of interactive um, result with it here at the prompt. And so now I can run these, these uh, speed tests anytime. Now, if I didn't have a bandwidth cap, which that's a whole other rant for a whole a whole other video. If I didn't have a bandwidth cap, I would certainly open this up to you on port 5201 and let the world test. That being said, a quick Google search will get you public iperf3 servers. So you can actually uh, pull up, and it came right from the official site, the iperf.fr, and you can see all of these public servers and where they're at, um, what kind of characteristics they have, the speed. So this is a 10 gigabit connection. This is a one gig. Uh, so you can actually use these, these public tests. 
I'd love to be able to open this up, but I have a bandwidth cap. And with so many devices here, we belly right up to it. So, sorry about that. I don't think there's anything else that I really wanted to cover um, on this. If there's anything specifically you want to know, put it down in the questions. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy the video and you do give me a thumbs down, please give me some sort of explanation what I can do to make the videos better. If you've got any questions, please post up. Once again, please give a thumbs up. Please comment and share. And later this week, we will have some more technical videos. And anything that you want to see that I'm not charging for, there are some things that I don't do videos on unless they're private videos, which I do have those, those uh, kinds of uh, folks that contact me. Uh, I will add it to the list and we'll get the videos cranked out as quickly as we can. I will see you in the next video.